So consider these two questions. This question is asked in year 2005 and this one is asked in year 2006. So the first question they are saying, the circuit shown below implements a two input NOR gate using a two two cross one multiplexer. That means we have a two input, NOR, uh, we are implementing a two input NOR gate. This is the equation for a NOR gate. And the control signal one selects the upper input. For example, if you are going to give a control signal one, then it, it will select this upper input. Again, if you are giving a control signal one, then it will select the upper input. Then what are the values of the signal x, y, and z? That means what should be the values which should be given to this x, y, and z to implement this NOR gate. Okay, to do this, let us first identify what is the equation which we are going to get. So this upper input is representing a 1 that means it is representing z and the lower input is 0 that means it is representing z complement. So in this circuit we can see uh, this is going to represent this this is going to represent if we get a function f for this so then this is representing a z plus b z complement and I am representing this by function f therefore for this we are going to get x f plus y f complement xf plus y x complement you can take this value and put the value of f this so it can be written as x into a z plus b z complement plus if we have y uh, a z plus b z complement whole complement see there uh, if you try to solve this equation then you will not be able to get this answer so let me show you if what what happens if you solve this equation if you solve this equation then uh, you can take all the terms with, where a is there take a is common then you can either take b as common right so it can be written as a z x plus b z complement x plus a z y plus b sorry uh, this is whole complement right so you can open this whole complement so it can also be written as y a z complement dot b z complement complement again you can take y so it can be written as a z x plus b z complement x plus a z whole complement plus b z comp dot b z complement dot y See, if you try to solve this question like this, then it will be very difficult to solve and I think so you will not be able to get the correct answer. So what is the better way of solving this is, here you can see we need A plus B whole complement. But if you check check this A and B, A and B, nowhere where we have whole complement. So what we can do is, we can take this term and to make it A and B whole complement and we can take this term as 0. So for example, here if I take the value of X as 0, if I take the value of X as 0, then this complete term will become 0 then we are left with this term and this term is actually representing this term is actually representing y dot az plus b z complement whole complement y dot az plus b z complement whole complement right now in this term we can take y as 1 so if we take x as 0 and y as 1 then we are left with az plus b z complement whole complement plus b z complement whole complement right now let us do one thing let us take z as a let us take z as a so if you take z is equal to a if we take z is equal to a therefore this question can also be written as a dot a plus b a complement whole complement which is a plus b a complement whole complement and here you can apply distributive law so it can be written as a plus b dot a plus a complement whole complement which is equal to a plus b whole complement okay so this is the correct answer to this question you can see if you take z as a if you take y as 1 if you take x as 0 that means it is for x, y and z. If you take the values which is 0, 1, a, then you can get the above equation. So therefore answer is option number D, 0, 1 and a. Right, so this is this question is a little bit tricky because 
you have to take z is equal to a right then you will be able to get the answer right so uh, let us consider the second question here they are saying consider the circuit shown below uh, the options correctly represents that means if you get the final function which is f of x y z then what is that function right so this is a multiplexer so assume here we are going to get this is representing 0 this is representing 1 so here the equation for this function will be x z complement plus y complement z okay and then we are giving this as an input here so this final function will be representing y dot sorry y complement dot x z complement plus y complement z plus y dot x plus y dot x therefore it can also be written like this you can expand this term so it is x y complement z complement plus y dot y dot plus y x which can also be written as x y complement z complement plus y complement z plus y x plus y complement z plus y x right but here one term is in this one this term is in three uh, this three literals this term is in two literals and this term is in two literal but here all the options are containing two literal therefore i can minimize one literal from this and uh, by minimizing we can uh, take the equation okay so how can we minimize how can we minimize either i can take this term with this or i can take this term with this with any one of them i can minimize this equation so let me take this term with this one so it can be written like this it can also be written like this x uh, take y complement as common between this term and this term take y complement as common so it is x z complement plus z plus y x which can be written as distribute z so it is y complement x uh, plus z dot z complement plus z plus y x so this can be written as 1 so it is y complement x plus y complement z plus y x y complement x plus y complement z plus y x do we have y complement x anywhere here we have y complement x we have y complement z plus we don't have uh, y x we have x z therefore uh, then, uh, we, we must have distributed this term with this one so we can be uh, we can also try to solve this with this so we can get this one take x is common between these two terms so this can be written as y complement z complement plus y plus y complement z again it can be written as distribute y so it is y complement plus y dot z complement plus y plus y complement z which can be written as x dot z complement plus y plus y complement z now this can be written as x z complement plus x y plus y complement z so let us try to match well, let us try to match some options here here you can say in option number a we have x z complement we have x y we have y complement z so option number a is matching right in option number b uh, this term is different so this is not matching option number c is not matching option number d is not matching and option number b is not matching right so therefore the answer to this question is option number a okay